Hello everyone. In today's video, I bring you the latest updates from the world of K-dramas and our beloved South Korean actors. Let's talk about releases, new dramas, and casting news. The movie Wonderland may finally receive a release date. According to media reports, the film, which boasts a stellar cast including names like Bae Suzy, Park Bo Gum, Choi Woo Shik, Young Yumi, and many more, may have finally been given a release forecast. The production was filmed even before Park Bo Gum enlisted in the military, and now, almost two years later, it may finally be released. Reports suggest that the possible release date will be in June 2024. Wonderland will tell stories of people using a simulated reality service to reunite with loved ones they can no longer interact with in the real world or who have passed away. With this cast, I'm eager to watch. JTBC's drama No Secrets releases its first trailer. Scheduled to premiere in May, No Secrets has unveiled its first trailer, proving to be a highly entertaining option with an engaging storyline. The drama follows a rising news anchor known for his trustworthy image, always following the rules and valuing traditions. However, after an accident, he develops a condition where he becomes a careless speaker, blurting out words without thinking. He embarks on a romance with a passionate variety show writer who finds him intriguing, leading them to co-star in a romantic variety program together. What do you think? This has definitely caught my attention. Im si Wan and Park Gyu Yun will star together in a new movie. Mantis is a spin-off of the successful film Kill Bok Soon, and will feature both renowned actors in the lead roles. Im si Wan will showcase his versatility in a challenging role, portraying the legendary assassin Mantis. The film is a Netflix production, set to begin filming in August, with a planned release in 2025. I really like these two actors, I'll definitely watch it. The JTBC drama Although I'm Not a Hero is gearing up for its premiere. The upcoming fantasy romance from JTBC has introduced its main characters during its script reading. Set to debut on May 4th, the drama tells the story of a family with superpowers who have lost their abilities due to common chronic illnesses in modern society. They face a comprehensive emotional crisis, and throughout the drama, we will follow the characters on a journey to find a cure for their ailments and regain their powers. The cast also includes actor Choi Kwong Rock, who gained 30 kilograms to portray his role in this drama. Starting his acting career in 2022 with the drama Green Mothers Club, he has been showing a lot of talent and dedication in his projects, and he accepted to undergo this physical change to act in this project. It's a drama with a different proposal from the conventional, but it's a JTBC production that always delivers great shows. So, are you adding this to your list? Actors Kim Ji-Yoon and Bae and hyuk in negotiations for a new drama. On March 28, it was reported that actors Bae and hyuk and Kim Ji-Yoon have received the offer for the lead roles in the upcoming drama Check in Hanyon, literal title. This will be a period drama set in the Joseon dynasty, depicting the growth and love stories of a group of young individuals working at Joseon's largest inn. The drama promises to explore their journey in overcoming the limitations of their era and social status with their passion and talent. In response, Kim Ji-Yoon's agency shared, Check in Hanyang is a project that she is positively considering. However, representatives for Bae and Hyuk have not yet commented. Let's wait and see if the duo will accept. Wedding Impossible surprises with special appearances from various stars in its finale. And now for some great news for those following the drama Wedding Impossible. I've talked about this drama here on the channel before. We already have 10 episodes out of a total of 12, and so far, it's been a really good romantic comedy. To make it even better, we received the incredible news that the final episodes will feature special appearances by Lee Soo Hyuk, Kim Bum, and Ryu Kyung Soo. As mentioned by the drama representative, the trio will have a special connection with our three main characters. I was already eagerly awaiting these episodes, but imagine now with this news. However, on the other hand, I'm a little sad because it's ending. I really enjoyed this series. New drama starring Moon Sang Min set to premiere. Just talked about Wedding Impossible, which is nearing its final episodes and will be missed, but here's some good news for those following actor Moon Sang Min's projects, his new drama Cinderella at 2am has been slated for release in the second half of 2024. The plot is also a romantic comedy promising lots of fun moments and that beloved cliché of a poor girl ending up with a rich guy, portraying the life of a modern Cinderella and her wealthy boyfriend. And the actress who will play the romantic counterpart to the charming Moon Sang Min will be Shin Hyun Bin. Both of them have given statements about the drama that incredibly raised expectations for the series. Shin Hyun Bin shared that their chemistry with Moon Sang Min worked so well that it allowed them to dive even deeper into their respective roles, while Moon Sang Min added that Cinderella at 2am will be the rom-com of his life. With these statements, this cast, and one of my favorite cliches, it goes straight to the top of my list. 
Netflix read its UIN's appearance in Goodbye Earth. Finally, Netflix's drama Goodbye Earth gets a release date. Just a few days ago, rumors about the series' release date surfaced, which Netflix had denied. However, on March 29th, the platform released a teaser poster confirming the premiere date for April 26. The highly anticipated series was initially scheduled for release in 2023, but unfortunately, the actor UIN, who was one of the main characters, has become embroiled in a controversy related to substance use. In addition to unveiling the teaser, Netflix also addressed whether UIN would still be part of the project, stating, UIN appears as the main protagonist that makes up the story of the work. Together with the director, writer, and other production team, we conducted re-editing and post-production after sufficient discussion to avoid disrupting the flow as much as possible. So, there you have it. It's finally going to premiere. You can now add it to your watch list for April. Midnight Romance and Hagwon replaces Hospital Playlist spin-off after Queen of Tears. And for those who are anticipating the Hospital Playlist spin-off, they'll have to wait a bit longer, as the series, which was scheduled to premiere in May after the airing of Queen of Tears, has been postponed to the second half of 2024. This occurred due to a crisis in the Korean healthcare system, where just over a month ago, newly graduated doctors went on strike after the Korean government promoted a reform in the sector, regarding the increase in the annual number of medical licenses, which did not please the medical community, and this ended up affecting the production of the hospital-themed drama. And the drama slated to premiere in its place is Midnight Romance in Hagwon. It's a romantic comedy that portrays the love between a teacher and her former student. He harbors a persistent fixation on this teacher, who is his first love, and ends up working alongside her at the same institution after becoming an instructor, and they will develop a romantic involvement. The cast includes actors Wai Ha-joon, Young Ryo won and So Ju yun and the potential premiere date is May 11th. What do you think of this couple? Will they have chemistry? Queen of Tears enters the top 10 on Netflix in over 60 countries. Speaking of Queen of Tears, the K-drama has been smashing in terms of viewership and has secured a prominent position among successful global K-dramas on the platform. According to data from Flix Patrol, a global OTT content rating service, Queen of Tears has reached the top 10 in 68 countries around the world, including the United States, Canada, Japan, Australia, India, Greece, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Mexico, and Argentina, since its premiere. Additionally, the drama is receiving many positive reviews, with the audience showing appreciation for both the storyline and the chemistry between the characters. I'm loving it. What about you guys? And those were today's news updates. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, and stay tuned to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. A kiss to you all, and until next time.